So with the coaches in the coaches' boxes, you can see that that's the little area on the ground where they're designated. Some will choose binos, binoculars, but now the athletes. And here comes from Germany, Michelle Kropen. And following her from the United States of America, Casey Koffold. Kropen came in here as the number five qualifier and Koffold the number three qualifier. And they shot their way into this gold medal match to decide who will be the Indoor World Series final champion. For Michelle Kropen. She was able to defeat Denisa Berenkova from Slovakia to get into this gold medal match. And for Casey Koffold, Charlene Schwartz from Germany. And Koffold, the fan favorite here, obviously looking for Olympic glory here in 2024 in yep. Paris, as all these athletes are. All right, Rio. How far away is our target? What size is the target they're going to be shooting at? Uh, the recurve here will be shooting at 18 meters at a 10 ring, about the size of a silver dollar. They uh, play a little different game here. It's called the set system, where every end will determine a point value. Uh, two points for a win, one for a tie, and the first to get to six will be your winner. There is a shot clock. Casey Koffold will lead us off the right part of your screen. And you can see she has 20 seconds to execute that shot. Each archer shooting at a three spot or try spot target face. Good looking start. Tens for each right out of the gate. Super important when you're sending that scout arrow down there to make sure that your sight is set. Ten. Casey just keeps rolling with a good, strong shot. Super, super, super strong. She's really quick. Her timing looks good, and it could equal a good match here. Ten. And what a follow-up. Nothing like them two competing and, and going to push each other. That's an awesome, awesome start for both of them. Yeah. And you can see after the release that her coach in the coach's box said something about that score. Now, no question about Gropen and that score. So we're going to wait officially to see what Casey's arrow is, but the possibility is, is that Gropen would go up two set points to zero or they'll tie one point to piece, correct? Correct. And that that could be a huge start to a match. I mean, it's it's a lot, a lot of weighing on that one arrow call. And we can see the judge has a magnifying glass out. And Casey's looking at it with a grin. But yeah, it's a it's a definite big big part of how your match starts out. Yeah, that's what we have right now, 30 to 29. Yep, so it's going to be it two set points. To Kropen. Michelle Kropen, 27 years old, currently our 10th ranked archer in recurve women world archery competition. A good look to Casey Koffold. And she knew after that 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 one didn't quite hit. And Kropen able to jump on it, capitalize, and get those two valuable set points. Koffeld, the archer behind, will start first. Ten. Good rebound from Koffeld. Open in her world archery career, 107 matches, and she's won 61% of them. A little low on that one, but it caught. Ten. 
Uh, good comeback. They both started off with a little shaky on the, the first part, but they seem Casey seemed to pull that back into the middle, and that should lead to some little more confidence and a better shot. Oh, there's the door open to get the two points back. Nine. Ooh, just outright, and the crowd moans. Number nine here from Kropen, and we're going to split the set points 1 1. And Michelle would lead 3 1 or a 10. Ten. She gets it. So she jumps on it, Rio. Unofficially 10 9 10 to couple 10 10 9 what we have on our screen, but we'll have to see about that one arrow call for couple. Yeah, and that's going to be crucial because the fall either down 4 0 or 3 1 can be a big difference. And what we've seen from women's recurve when these Olympians, Olympic hopefuls, come shoot indoor they tend to stick with their skinny outdoor arrows Rio yeah yeah I, th I think that they they just feel comfortable uh, because women don't shoot the pounds the men do to get to flex the bigger arrows so a lot of times they have a good setup and they'll just stick with it I know that Casey told me before she's tried them the thicker arrows yeah. they just haven't come off the bow and felt right for her so she chooses but so the situation is they were all tied up after this shot from Casey Koffel. So it's now Michelle Kropen. Three set points to one. Five shots. Ten. Now you can see that Koffel made a slight adjustment on her sight. Moving that site left. Ten. Michelle, no problem. Ten. She keeps it in that same spot, even though she's moved her site. That's one it can be one of the most frustrating things around is you know you're making adjustments and it's not really compensating for it. But that works good. No adjustments needed for that arrow. She's looking really solid, and with a 3 1 lead, that could be a thing. Nine. That nine gives Carpenter an opportunity to go 5 1. She got it. Perfect 30 points. And the 5-1 uh, the difference makes it really hard because now Casey has the hope that she gets help from her competitor to, to get that door open. At down 5-1, you have to win the next set. <laughs> For the German, just a little bit of a miscue on the water. Better that than than the arrow, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Can I always take care of that way easier than the loss? Yeah. Casey Koffeld, of course, right now ranked number two in the world. The 19-year-old, a world record holder in in world archery competition. Casey Koffeld's had 75 matches, and 65 percent of the time she's won. Here we go. If these archers tie on score, the gold medal will go to Kropen. A little bit of side to side movement for Casey. Felt like a much longer hold than normal. Casey does need these arrows to, to even have a chance. She needs to win this set. It was a little quicker. A little better pace for her. 
Now she needs her competitor to give her a little help. I mean, Groven's been solid, so it'd be hard to see her shoot two nines in this hand. <laughs> Just like I said, she puts it right there in the middle. This is a no option 10 for Casey Koffel to keep going, keep this match extended. <laughs> she gets it. So now it's all on the German. A 10 here will seal it. A nine, and we go five sets to three. Ooh, oh. I don't know about that. I think it's a little bit high. And Gro I think Gro she Gro does thinks too. It's high. <laughs> <laughs> she had that look. Yeah, but the judge has the bird's eye view. No. Let's see what the call is. So they're gonna go check the other target. They're gonna score the other target, and then oh, they'll call it. It got changed back. to a nine. Yeah, it got changed to a nine. So nine, ten, nine for Kropen. Nine, ten, ten for Koffeld, and now we're at five sets to three. So it fell right into Koffeld's hands. And the question is: Is this a momentum shift, or was this just a hiccup end for Kropen? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It'll be very interesting to see if Casey can feel that little bit of gain and just capitalize on it. A good look at Koffel. Trying to get that shot timing just a little bit crisper. Yeah. As we look at Michelle Kropen, Rio, if Koffel wins this next set, we're going 5-5, then what happens? A one arrow shoot off closest to dead center, and that can go a lot of different ways. And there's a lot of people in this room and a lot of people watching that are hoping that that's exactly the way it's going to go. If our first gold medal match of the evening starts off with a one arrow shoot off, this crowd is going to go crazy. Let's see what Koppel can deliver. Good start. And still grabbing a couple more clicks. Moving that side over. Ten. Good answer. And a line cutter. That was close. And Michelle knows it. Casey needs this to really keep the match alive. And she's a little slow again on the hole. That's a, yep. It starts to show up. A lot of times what happens is you get really careful because you know the value of it and it just slows down your shot and can cause that. Yes. Solid, solid. She looks really good. And for Koffeld, you actually saw her after that last arrow shift her position on the field. Try to shift over a little bit to the right, and that was the result of it. And she's going to be thinking about that movement on that she didn't make before that second arrow. Nine. Nine for the win. That's all she really needed. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, a tie so we're going to wait. We'll see because for Kropen, all she needed is tie Casey. So she went 10 10 9. Casey went 10 9 10. And if that's the case, it's going to be six set points to four. And we're going to wait for the judge's decision. And from our perspective, as Kropen and her coach are looking downrange, we're going to get the official ruling, and it is Michelle Kropen who takes gold and is your indoor World Series finals champion here in Las Vegas on a six to four set point victory. What a, what a good start to the night. Good match, good, you know, some great performance. Casey fought hard. Yeah, but in the end, one or two nines was the difference. Well, and like I say, one of the big things is sometimes we just get careful out on that stage and we look back and say, man, I wish I'd have been more confident. And so Casey will get it together. Casey's a great archer and it'll be a really good, you know, lead into the year. And it's a good lesson to learn as well for new archers with Casey, although it was late in the last end. I like the fact that she made that shuffle. She made that change in her position on the field of play, her angle towards the target, or just offsetting herself from the target.